Authority. Today, the coroner's office released the official results of her autopsy. NBC Force Forty is going to the latest on this developing story. He's live outside the coroner's office for us right now. Gordon. Well, Colleen, we have a clearer picture now of what happened the night before the Grammys. Whitney Houston, as you know, settled into her hotel suite at the Beverly Hilton, about to take a bath when something, something happened. Quarters officials spoke with reporters to give us a clearer picture about an hour ago. Something happened that caused her to uh, go down. And uh, we know that when she slipped under the water, she was still alive. Alive, but drowning, says Operations Chief Craig Harvey. Water was found in the 48-year-old singer's lungs, and there was evidence of marijuana use, but the autopsy points to two other issues that contributed to her death. First, advanced heart disease. The coroner calls it atherosclerosis, a 60% narrowing of her arteries. But toxicology reports also point to another precipitating factor, chronic cocaine use. As many of Houston's longtime fans know, she had struggled for years with a addiction issues, including cocaine. Quarters officials tonight say there was evidence that her struggle was continuing up to and including the moment of her death. It appeared that the cocaine had been used uh, in the uh, time period just probably immediately prior to her uh, collapse in the bathtub at the hotel. And tonight, Whitney Houston's sister-in-law, Patricia Houston, issued a short, a short statement for the family. We are saddened to learn of the toxicology results, although we are glad we now have closure. Court officials, uh, coroner's officials and detectives at the Beverly Hills Police Department are saying one thing is for sure tonight, there was no evidence of trauma or foul play in this case. Reporting live from the L.A. County Coroner's Office, Gordon Tobumatsu, NBC4 News. Obviously, as we heard in Gordon's report, there's a lot of information in that court coroner's report that came out today, and Dr. Bruce joins us now to kind of break it down for us. Yeah, and breaking it down means understanding exactly what the coroner's job is. The basic job to determine the final event leading to the death. They decided it was drowning, but we want to know why did she drown? We can tell she drowned by examining the lungs and other organs. Everything else in the report about why she drowned is based on scientific conclusions. Here they are. First of all, she had severe underlying atherosclerotic heart disease, blockage of the blood vessels. That was probably present before death. And she did have cocaine in her body. When I called the office, the coroner told me that her body showed evidence of chronic cocaine use, where some studies show may contribute to blockage if used over a long period of time. And the autopsy also showed that one of her heart's arteries was blocked, 60% blocked. Oh, what could have possibly caused this? That's yeah, yeah. What, what specifically? She was in the, the bathtub. She had apparently taken the cocaine. Was it a combination of the warm water, the drugs? Uh, I mean, what would it have been? It certainly could have been a combination. And the coroner's report does not say that she took the cocaine right then, but it implies something like that. Now, keep in mind again, as we said before, the final event was drowning. But what caused her to go under? Here are a few possible scenarios based on the report. One, the cocaine caused a heart attack and caused her to submerge. That may not be very likely because cocaine causes active heart attacks only about 46% of the time. Two, she had a heart attack on her own. Three, the combination of drugs found in her body, muscle relaxants, anti-anxiety medicines, marijuana, caused her to fall asleep and submerge. Now the coroner says these other drugs did not contribute to her death. When I called, they said they were present only in small prescription amounts. But you know, we all know that only one of these medicines, a muscle relaxant, an anti-anxiety mm -hmm. medicine, can make you very tired. So I think it could have played a role. It's not the final conclusion, but it may have had something to do with her submerging. All right, Dr. Bruce, as always, thank you so mm -hmm. much. Stay with NBC4 News and NBCLA.com for new developments on the Whitney Houston report. As we mentioned, we're still waiting on the toxicology report, and we'll bring that to you as soon as we get it. The original